Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star, Star, Star and welcome to your reading. So, Scorpio, this is your reading for the month of March and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Scorpio, will see what is your energy, what you need to know for the month of March. Energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, you will be dealing with. Okay? This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. There is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. So let's get started, Scorpio. Let's see what you need to know. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is telling me that there is an ongoing stress in your life. But I also feel like it is coming to an end. See, because... Nine is is a a cyclical period usually, okay? And after nine of swords, we have ten of swords, and after that, there is there is no eleven of swords. So, the stressful period that you have been long experiencing in your life, okay, uh, that is about to end very soon, Scorpio. The darkness that you are experiencing that is about to end very soon. For some of you, you have already started experiencing the end of that. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is telling me, Scorpio, that because of the end of a painful cycle, you're going to feel extremely energetic and passionate towards certain things in your life. Especially uh, your, your passions and your interests. It can be anything. If you're passionate about certain hobbies like music and etc., you'll feel passionate about music. If uh, if you have certain, if you think that uh, your your career or your work uh, is very close to your heart, you are going to feel passionate about your work, about your career. Okay. So there are certain things for some of you. Like I do feel like you're going to feel passionate about your hobbies. Now, hobbies can be literally anything. It can range from anything. Like cooking, gardening, reading books, sports and activities and watching Netflix or anything. You are going to feel passionate about those hobbies in the month of March. And I do see especially you are going to dedicate and devote your time towards some creative activities. One of the reasons you are going to dedicate and devote time towards creative activities or one of the reasons you are going to be, you are going to feel so passionate about creative activities is because you are trying to heal yourself from this energy. The pain that you have experienced which is about to come to an end or the stress that you have experienced which is about to come to an end. You are trying to heal yourself from that stress. Okay, You are trying to uh, make sure You are trying to make sure that the stress is getting subsided because of the creative passion that you will be pursuing in the month of March. Okay. So this one, you won't be doing this consciously, but in fact, at a subconscious level itself, things will start happening. You'll automatically start feeling inclined towards creative activities. You'll automatically start feeling inclined towards certain specific hobbies. Also, there is one specific thing I see over here. Uh, for people who are into connections, who are going out on dates or who are willing to go out on dates, I do see you will have very strong sexual relationships with your partners. You are going to be extremely, extremely passionate when it comes to bedtime stories, when it comes to your bedtime, uh, bedtime activities, uh, because you're trying to convert that stress into something. You're trying to do certain things to heal yourself from the stress that you're experiencing. So one of the ways to heal yourself is, is sex. Nothing better heals you than sex okay so i do feel like in the month of march you're going to find it you're going to find yourself extremely uh, passionate about uh, sexual activities okay you're gonna your partners will be so satisfied with you they will be they will be going crazy and they will be craving for more and more from you okay i also feel that 
Now, because of the fact that you are coming across as so passionate when it comes to sexual activities, you have to be careful about pregnancy. I mean, if you don't want that, you have to be you have to make sure that you precautions are being used over here because that energy is coming across as very strong. You will try to relieve the stress that you're experiencing through sexual activities. Okay, King of Pentacles. You're trying to build something for yourself, okay? And I think so you are taking whatever you are doing, you are taking up that very seriously. You are taking up that those hobbies very seriously. Or uh, you, some of you might have learned a new skill uh, that is way different from whatever your job is, whatever your qualification is, okay? But somewhere there is also this... Uh, confidence that you will be able to make more money through this new activity through this new side hustle i do see that you're coming across as very passionate about this new side hustle you will be dedicated and devoted towards this and there is so dedication and devotion because you will see some instant results like you're going to see some daily income from this new activity that you're going to do okay uh I do see some good amount of money coming your way in the month of March. But I also see that it is proportional to the amount of efforts you're putting. If you're putting some really good amount of efforts, some good amount of money is coming towards you. As far as your love life is concerned, I feel Scorpio that your wait period is getting over. You have been uh, long waiting for your partner to enter in your life. But again, the message is very loud and clear that uh, you won't have to wait longer. Someone is about to enter in your life very soon. Okay, the ships are near. They are closer to the shore. And you somehow know that. Either you know who this person is or you are feeling it from within that someone is not far away. Okay, intuitively you are feeling that. Seven of Swords. Scorpio, you have to keep yourself away from people uh, who has these intentions of trapping you, okay? You have to be uh, careful about such kind of people, okay? There are certain people around you who wants to trap you there are certain people around you who wants to they don't see you they they are not your well wishes okay however i also feel like they are they are not they are not letting you know that they are your enemies they are wearing a mask of deception okay and they are around you there is there is they are wearing that mask of deception so you have to be careful there are certain people in and around you who probably they are projecting that they are that they are your friends, they are your well-wishers, but their intentions are different. Their true intentions are different. And especially this card has popped up in your love life. Maybe they don't want to see you happy with anyone. So if pre certain previous relationships have broken down in your life, then probably in certain relationships, this person was responsible or these people were responsible for the breakdown. You Energetically, you should be able to feel that they are not good for you. Stay away from such kind of people. The death and rebirth. I do feel, Scorpio, that a past life connection is getting resurrected. Whoever is coming towards you is a past life soulmate. And this person embodies a very strong energy. I mean, their energy is very strong once they enter in your life. They and their energy will protect you big time. All these stupid people who are not your well-wishers, they will be threatened. I mean, not 
energetically they will feel threatened to do anything against you okay so what i see over here is the past life soulmate that is coming towards you first of all they are very strong probably physically and energetically and they are an awakened soul okay and they are very mature and people are scared of this person out of respect and probably this person is someone powerful as well whether it is a man or a woman nobody dares to mess around with this person because of their strong personality because of the strong energetic protection that they have and they will share that energetic protection with you as well this person is going to be extremely protective about you and they will not allow anyone to mess around with you okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care have a great time and bye bye scorpio